What if I told you that some celebrity grandparents have grandkids that look exactly like them? From Elvis Presley's grandson, Benjamin Kiao, who had people grabbing him for a photo at the Grand Ole Opry because of his uncanny resemblance to his famous grandfather to Kirk Douglas's grandson, Cameron Douglas, who the Los Angeles Times dubbed the ripped and tatted version of Kirk Douglas. Here are 25 celebrity grandparents and their grandchildren who look exactly like them. Audrey Hepburn and Emma Ferrer. American actress Audrey Hepburn, known for her roles in classic films like Breakfast at Tiffany's and Roman Holiday, has a grandchild that looks exactly like her. Audrey married actor Mel Ferrer, whom she met at a cocktail party hosted by mutual friend Gregory Peck in 1954. She and Ferrer had a son, Sean Hepburn Ferrer, born on the 17th of June, 1960. Sean is the father of Emma Ferrer, Audrey's granddaughter. Emma was born a year after Hepburn's death, age 63, in 1993. Emma is an artist, poet, actress, advocate for children, and former model who has appeared in several editorial publications and campaigns, including Dior, Japanese luxury skincare brand Kose, Givenchy, and Tiffany, and company Emma Ferrer resembles her famous grandmother with her dark hair and soulful eyes. Growing up, she often struggled with comparisons to Audrey. Emma once said, I used to struggle a lot with people wondering whether I looked like her or dressed like her. After watching Breakfast at Tiffany's, she realized they were right. She said, she has certain mannerisms that I can connect with. For example, this innocent look of surprise and the wide-eyed nature she sometimes has. I see that in my little brother too, and it makes me feel similar to her in a way which is really nice. Emma has also been following in her grandmother's footsteps. Audrey Hepburn was a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF and received the Presidential Medal of Freedom for her humanitarian work. Elvis Presley and Benjamin Keough. American singer and actor known as the King of Rock and Roll and also regarded as one of the most significant cultural figures of the 20th century, Elvis Presley has a grandson named Benjamin Keough, who looks like him. Elvis's daughter, Lisa Marie Presley, who was an American singer-songwriter, gave birth to Benjamin Keough in 1992, one of her four children. Despite being born after Elvis's passing, Benjamin bore a striking resemblance to his famous grandfather. During an interview with CMT, an interviewer asked, when I saw your son in the video, I had to catch my breath. He looks so much like Elvis. Does he get that reaction a lot? Lisa replied, he does. He was at the Opry and was the quiet storm behind the stage. Everybody turned around and looked when he was over there. Everybody was grabbing him for a photo because it was just uncanny. Sometimes I am overwhelmed when I look at him. On June 19th, 2021, Lisa shared a photo of herself with her four children, Riley Keough, 30, Benjamin Keough, 26, and her twin daughters, Harper and Finley Lockwood, 10, with the caption, Mama Lion with Cubs. Elvis fans with suspicious minds who saw the post mentioned that Benjamin looked like the king reincarnated. With his dark hair, perfectly straight nose, and smoky, brooding eyes, he could easily pass as an Elvis impersonator. One of Lisa Marie's followers on Twitter said, your son is the image of your dad, lovely family photo. Tragically, on July 12th, 2020, Benjamin's life ended prematurely at the age of 27. Gregory Peck and Ethan Peck. Eldred Gregory Peck was an American actor and one of the most popular film stars from the 1940s to the 1970s known for his role in films like To Kill a Mockingbird for which he won the Academy Award for Best Actor and Roman Holiday. Ethan comes from quite the Hollywood lineage. Peck married Finnish-American Greta Kukkonen, with whom he had three sons, Jonathan, Stephen, and Carrie Paul. Stephen Peck is the father of Ethan. Ethan has followed the footsteps of his grandfather and has appeared in notable roles like a younger version of George Clooney in 2020 S. The Midnight Sky and he's starring as a young Spock on the show Star Trek Discovery and the forthcoming series Star Trek Strange New Worlds. 
He also appeared on popular series like That 70s Show, Gossip Girl, Madam Secretary, and Penny Dreadful, City of Angels. Ethan may share some physical traits with his grandfather, like their leading man qualities, but he doesn't like to be compared to his grandfather. In 2019, Ethan told CBS's Watch Magazine that he doesn't like the comparisons people draw between him and his grandpa. The actor said, with all due respect, I don't want to compare myself. I want to be the best I can be. I have a deeply competitive nature. My dad says that's true of all the pecs. Jane Fonda and Viva Vadim. Jane Seymour Fonda is an American actress and activist whose work spanned several genres and over six decades of film and television. Fonda and her first husband, French film director Roger Vadim, married on August 14, 1965, at the Dunes Hotel in Las Vegas. The couple had a daughter, Vanessa Vadim, who gave birth to Viva Vadim. Jane's granddaughter, Viva Vadim, mirrors her grandmother's looks with a slight smile, delicate nose, and bright eyes. Viva is almost a younger version of Jane, but their connection goes deeper than appearances. In 2019, Jane and Viva were arrested together at a fire drill Friday climate protest. Jane proudly shared this moment on Instagram, highlighting their shared commitment to social justice and climate action. Viva was only 16 at the time, showing that activism runs in the family. Jane has always encouraged her grandchildren to find their passions. In 2016, she told The Guardian how much she loves being a grandmother and hopes her grandchildren discover what they love to do. For Viva, that passion includes fighting for the planet, just like her famous grandmother. Jane's influence on Viva is evident in their shared activism and determination to make a difference. Kirk Douglas and Cameron Douglas. Kirk Douglas was an American actor and filmmaker known for serious dramas, including westerns and war films. He made his film debut in The Strange Love of Martha Ivers with Barbara Stanwyck and soon became a leading box office star throughout the 1950s. When Kirk Douglas passed away on February 2020 at the age of 103, he left behind a lasting legacy that will be remembered by fans of his popular films and admirers of his good deeds. Kirk was a father of four sons, Michael Douglas, Joel, Peter, and Eric, who sadly passed away in 2004. Kirk was also the grandfather of Michael's children, including Cameron Douglas. Cameron is the son of Michael and his first wife, Deandra Luker. Cameron Douglas inherited more than just his famous surname. After spending time behind bars for drug-related charges, Cameron came out with a transformed physique that even earned him the title ripped and tatted version of Kirk Douglas by the Los Angeles Times. The two men shared certain features, like their cheeky smile and dominant chin. Apart from the physical resemblance, Cameron has a deep bond with his grandfather. Talking about their relationship, Cameron said, he believed in me even when maybe I had given up on myself. Blythe Danner and Apple Martin. Blythe Catherine Danner is an American actress who received awards, including two Primetime Emmy Awards for Best Supporting Actress in a Drama Series, and a Tony Award for Best Featured Actress for her performance in Butterflies Are Free on Broadway. Danner was married to producer and director Bruce Paltrow, who died of oral cancer in 2002. She and Paltrow had two children together, actress Gwyneth Paltrow and director Jake Paltrow. In October 2002, Gwyneth met Chris Martin and they married on December 5, 2003. They have two children together, a daughter, Apple, born in May 2004, and a son, Moses, born in April 2006. There is a striking similarities between Blythe Danner, her daughter Gwyneth Paltrow, and now Paltrow's daughter, Apple Martin. The trio shares more than just a genetic bond. They all have those signature high cheekbones, wide blue eyes, and light hair that make them look like they could be sisters rather than grandmother, mother, and daughter. Just take a look at Apple's eyes, her nose, her cheekbones, the shape of her face, her hair. Every feature confirms her lineage. And considering the fact that she's still just a teen, Apple will likely look even more like the other women in her family as she gets older. 
Their resemblance was even pointed out by journalist Derek Blasberg in September 2019, when he shared a picture of the trio on Instagram and wrote, Today is the Paltrow's birthday, but let's celebrate the entire Danner Paltrow Martin bloodline. Here are three kind, talented, sweet, live, rhymes with Blythe, wonderful women. The apple doesn't fall from the tree, and neither does Apple. Apple isn't just known for her looks. She made a recent debut at Paris Fashion Week for Chanel Haute Couture Spring Summer 2023. Lucille Ball and Desiree Anzalone. Lucille Ball was an American actress, comedian, producer, and studio executive. In 1940, Ball met Cuban-born bandleader Desi Arnaz while filming the Rodgers and Hart stage hit Too Many Girls. They connected immediately. On July 1951, Ball gave birth to daughter Lucy Desiree Arnaz. A year and a half later, she gave birth to Desiderio Alberto Arnaz IV, popularly known as Desi Arnaz Jr. Desi Arnaz's granddaughter is Desiree S. Anzalone. Desiree Anzalone was born just a few months after her famous great-grandmother died at 77. Not only did Anzalone not get to meet her great-grandmother, but apparently her mother, Julia Arnaz, did not either. At first sight, Desiree seems nothing like her great-grandmother, with her long, raven locks and casual style, but a closer look at her blue eyes brings the startling resemblance. She is Lucille as a brunette with the same fragile beauty. Sadly, when Desiree was only 25 years old, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Unfortunately, Desiree's life was cut short by breast cancer in 2020. Princess Diana and Princess Charlotte. Princess Diana, the first wife of Charles III, back when he was Prince of Wales, was a beloved figure and mother to Princes William and Harry. William, now the Prince of Wales, was born in St. Mary's Hospital in London, the first child of Charles and Diana. Fast forward to the next generation, and we have Princess Charlotte, William's second child and only daughter with Catherine, Princess of Wales. Princess Charlotte never got the chance to meet her grandmother. But when you put photos of young Diana and Charlotte side by side, the resemblance is striking. They've got the same nose, eyebrows, eyes. The similarities are almost uncanny, especially when you look at photos of Diana as a child. Five-year-old Charlotte shares so many of the same features, like the shape of her eyes and nose, that Diana had at the same age. Sadly, Princess Diana passed away on August 31, 1997, following a tragic car crash. She was just 36. Despite the years that have passed, it's amazing to see how much of her lives on in her granddaughter, Elizabeth Taylor and Quinn Tyvey. Elizabeth Taylor was a legendary actress with both British and American roots. She started her career as a child star in the early 1940s and quickly became one of the biggest names in Hollywood during the 1950s. By the 1960s, she was the highest paid movie star in the world. Throughout her life, Taylor married eight times twice to actor Richard Burton. Taylor married her third husband, producer Mike Todd, when she was three months pregnant, and together they had a daughter named Liza Todd. Liza's son, Quinn Tyvey, is one of Elizabeth Taylor's 10 grandchildren. Quinn Tyvey definitely inherited some of his grandmother's iconic looks. He has that beautiful crown of dark hair, dramatic eyebrows, and of course, those famous striking blue eyes. But it's not just Taylor's looks that Quinn is carrying on. He's also keeping her legacy alive in a big way. In 2016, he became the co-trustee of his grandmother's trust, which manages the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation. As an ambassador for the foundation, Quinn has dedicated himself to the cause that was so close to Taylor's heart, the fight against HIV AIDS. In 2021, he wrote to people saying, 30 years ago, my grandma founded the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation to provide direct care for people living with and affected by HIV and AIDS. The fight against HIV AIDS was such a vital part of her legacy. And although the fight is far from over, I'm honored to see Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation continue her work, educating legislators, raising awareness for the public, disproving myths, and decreasing fear and stigma. 
I know Grandma would be proud of this work too. Marlon Brando and Tukey Brando. Marlon Brando was an iconic American actor who redefined acting in Hollywood with his intense, raw performances. He rose to fame in the 1950s with classics like A Streetcar Named Desire and On the Waterfront, and his portrayal of Vito Corleone in The Godfather cemented his place as one of the greatest actors of all time. Interestingly, Brando's legacy lives on not just through his films, but also through his family. His grandson, Tukey Brando, bears a striking resemblance to him. Tukey is the son of Marlon's late daughter, Cheyenne, and while he's not following in his grandfather's acting footsteps, he's still working in front of the camera as a model. With that strong jawline, dark hair, and intense gaze, Tukey could easily pass for a young Marlon Brando. Marlon was known for his smoldering looks back in the day, and it's clear those genes didn't skip a generation. Tukey's got those brooding good looks down pat, from the shape of his lips and dark eyes to his chiseled cheekbones and strong chin. Both men have that ability to throw a mesmerizing, piercing look that seems made for show business. The only noticeable difference is Tukey's olive complexion, which adds a unique twist to the Brando look. Tukey has made a name for himself in the modeling world, working with big names like Chanel, Dolce & Gabbana, and Technomarine timepieces. Clark Gable III and Clark Gable. Clark Gable was a legendary actor known for his roles in classic films like It Happened One Night, Mutiny on the Bounty, and his most iconic movie, Gone with the Wind. But interestingly, Clark's legacy isn't just about his Hollywood achievements, it's also alive in the striking features he passed down to his grandson, Clark Gable III. Clark Gable III was destined for showbiz, inheriting the same dark and handsome looks that made his grandfather a star. While he didn't follow the exact same path as his famous grandpa, you might have seen him on TV as the host of Cheaters from 2012 to 2013. In an interview with Access Hollywood, Clark Gable III even admitted that he saw some similarities between himself and his legendary grandfather. He said, to a certain extent, the eyebrows maybe, but I didn't get the ears too much. Sadly, Clark Gable III passed away in February 2019 at just 30 years old, with the medical examiner ruling it an accidental drug overdose. His death also brought to light some tension in the family as reports surfaced that his father refused to pay for his funeral or allow him to be buried in the Gable family plot. Despite the tragic ending, it's clear that the Gable legacy, both in looks and talent, lived on in Clark Gable III. Loretta Lynn and Taylor Lynn. Loretta Lynn was a legendary country music singer and songwriter with a career that spanned six decades. She gave us unforgettable hits like Hey Loretta, The Pill, and You Ain't Woman Enough. Loretta and her husband had six kids, and their third, Ernest Ray Lynn, had a daughter named Taylor Lynn with Cindy Pellmans. Although Ernest and Cindy divorced the same year Taylor was born, Taylor ended up following in her grandmother's musical footsteps. Taylor launched her music career in 2007 as part of the female country trio, Stealing Angels. The group came together on the reality show, All in the Jeans, but split up in 2012. Taylor didn't let that slow her down. She kicked off her solo career with her debut album, The Ranch, in 2016. What's really striking about Taylor is just how much she looks like her famous grandma. In March 2020, Taylor posted on Instagram alongside a screenshot of an article that claims she looks exactly like her grandmother, Loretta. The piece read, Taylor Lynn could portray the country music superstar without question. From those high cheekbones to that infectious smile, it's clear that the apple didn't fall far from the tree. In response to the blog post, she said, nothing makes me happier than this. The resemblance was really noticed when Taylor performed her grandma's hits like, you ain't woman enough to take my man, alongside her on Today in Nashville. Sadly, Loretta passed away peacefully in her sleep at her home in Hurricane Mills on October 4th, 2022 at the age of 90. After her passing, Taylor shared that whenever she needs to feel close to her grandma, 
She'll sit at where they spent so much time together. She said, if I need to feel her, if I'm feeling particularly sad, or I want to be close to her, I'll go sit on the porch. Jenna Bush Hager and George Bush. Without a doubt, even if you didn't know anything about Jenna Bush Hager, just one look at her photos and you'd instantly recognize her as a member of the Bush family. It's not just her name that gives it away. She's the spitting image of her dad, George W. Bush, the 43rd President of the United States, and even more so of her grandpa, George H. W. Bush, the 41st U.S. President. George Herbert Walker Bush was an American politician, diplomat, and businessman who served as the 41st President of the United States from 1989 to 1993. A member of the Republican Party, he also served as the 43rd Vice President from 1981 to 1989 under Ronald Reagan and previously in various other federal positions. After he passed away on November 30th, 2018, Jenna shared some sweet photos on Instagram showing just how much she resembled her grandpa even when she was a kid. She wrote a caption saying, he is gone, but he left behind a family that loves each other. We talked yesterday about how much we love him and each other. He showed others that serving with humility is the best way to serve and that living with kindness and generosity of spirit is the best way to live. What's really fascinating is that Jenna looks so much like her grandpa that they could almost be twins. Except Jenna already has a twin, Barbara Bush, who only slightly resembles the rest of the family. If you are enjoying this video, appreciate it by giving it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, and Prince Harry. Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, was the husband of Queen Elizabeth II and the longest serving royal consort in British history, staying by her side from her accession in 1952 until his passing in 2021. Philip and Elizabeth had four children, Charles, Anne, Andrew, and Edward. Charles, now King of the United Kingdom, married Princess Diana, and together they had two sons, William and Harry. Interestingly, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, shares a striking resemblance with his grandfather, Prince Philip. If you compare photos of a young Philip to modern-day Harry, you'll notice they both have the same piercing eyes, strong brow, slender nose, and thin lips. Harry started resembling Philip from a young age, and as he grew, the likeness became even more pronounced, with shared mannerisms and expressions. Both royals have even sported beards during their time in the military, a look that the queen apparently only allows when they're in uniform or out in the wild. Royal photographer Chris Jackson once shared a vintage magazine cover of Paris Match from 1957, featuring a 36-year-old Prince Philip in his blues and royal uniform. Jackson said he was blown away by the photograph. The caption read, I was reminded today of this incredible vintage at Paris Match, underscore magazine from 1957 I acquired a few years ago, he wrote. I was blown away the minute I spotted it. It always reminds me of the unique historic reference points that royal photography provides. Paul McCartney and Arthur Donald. Paul McCartney is an English singer, songwriter, and musician who gained worldwide fame with the Beatles, for whom he played bass guitar and shared primary songwriting and lead vocal duties with John Lennon. Paul McCartney is the proud grandpa of eight grandchildren, including the oldest of the bunch, Arthur Donald. Arthur Alastair Donald was born in England on April 3, 1999. He is the eldest son of Mary and her ex-husband, TV producer, Alastair Donald. Donald is not following in his grandfather's footsteps career-wise. Arthur attended University College School in North London before heading stateside to study history at Yale University. He graduated in 2021. Arthur is an investor at the Collaborative Fund and previously interned at Lucasfilm and worked as an analyst at B House and Goldman Sachs. He has no public social media presence, but he is carrying on the star's casually cool vibe. That became obvious in 2018 when the pair were spotted hanging out together in London. 
As the two strolled side by side, both wearing a t-shirt, slacks, and running shoes while each tucking a hand in their pocket, it was easy to see the similarities between them. Tex Ritter and Jason Ritter. Jason Ritter was born on February 17, 1980 in Los Angeles, California to actor parents Nancy Morgan and John Ritter. Jason is known for his work in television series such as Joan of Arcadia, Gravity Falls, Another Period, Kevin Probably Saves the World, and Raising Dion. But the acting gene didn't just start with his parents, it goes back another generation to his grandfather, Tex Ritter. Although Tex died six years before Jason was born, the resemblance between the two is undeniable. Tex Ritter was a pioneer of American country music, a popular singer and an actor from the mid-1930s into the 1960s. And it seems that Jason inherited more than just his love for the arts. He also got those same looks. Arthur looks just like a younger Paul from his Beatles days. With the same face shape, eyes, lips, and smile, it's almost like looking at a mini Paul. Arthur even seems to have inherited his grandfather's sense of style, often seen wearing similar clothes like t-shirts and jackets. The bond between Paul and Arthur is clearly strong as they've been spotted spending quality time together on several occasions. They were seen enjoying lunch at St. John's Restaurant in London and Arthur even accompanied his grandfather to a London screening of the 1960s documentary, My Generation, in which Paul is featured. Jason once told CMT about his similarities with his father. No one has compared me to Tex, yet I have just accepted that fact because I do kind of look like him and I grew up with him, so some of my mannerisms come directly from watching him as I was growing up. I know to a certain degree that I won't be able to get away from that, but I definitely feel a certain amount of pressure just to honor their talent and their abilities. It does push me to want to be the best actor I can and really take it seriously. Grace Kelly and Camille Gottlieb. Grace Kelly, famously known as Grace of Monaco, was not just an American actress, but also a princess after marrying Prince Rainier III in 1956. Tragically, she died in a car crash on September 14, 1982, while on her way back to the Monte Carlo Palace. Grace left behind her son, Albert II, Prince of Monaco, and two daughters, Princess Caroline and Princess Stephanie. Stephanie, who was in the car with her mother during the accident, later had two daughters of her own. Her youngest, Camille Gottlieb, is often called the spitting image of her late grandmother. Growing up, Camille constantly heard people comparing her to Princess Grace. She told Point de Vue, I was especially honored to be told about this resemblance to my grandmother, Princess Grace. Every time my mother tells me about her, it's to say what an extraordinary woman and what an exemplary mother she was. From the blonde hair to the gorgeous blue eyes, it's hard not to see how Gottlieb is Princess Grace's mini-me. Besides having similarly striking blonde hair and blue eyes, Gottlieb has been compared to her late grandmother for her classic fashion style as well as their mutual love for dogs. Grace famously brought her Great Dane and Poodle with her from Los Angeles to Monaco when she married Prince Rainier III. Camille, in true Grace Kelly style, is also a dog lover. She regularly posts about her pups on Instagram and one of her rescue dogs, Leonie Jolie, even has its own social media account run by Camille herself. Riley Keough and Priscilla Presley. Riley Keough is an actress, model, and producer. But more importantly, she is Elvis's granddaughter and Priscilla Presley's granddaughter. It's impossible not to be taken aback by how much she looks like both her grandmother and her mother, Lisa. Keough bears a striking resemblance to her grandmother, Priscilla Presley, most especially in her 980S pictures. The two share similar facial features, including their nose shape, eye shape, and overall bone structure. Both Riley and Priscilla have a distinctive nose with a slight upturn at the tip. They share similar almond-shaped eyes with a subtle upward tilt at the outer corner, and their eye color is a shade of brown. Priscilla Ann Presley is an American businesswoman and actress. 
She is the ex-wife of American singer Elvis Presley, as well as the co-founder and former chairperson of Elvis Presley Enterprises, the company that turned Graceland into one of the top tourist attractions in the United States. Priscilla and Elvis had one child, Lisa Marie, who gave birth to Riley Keough, Katie Cassidy, and Jack Cassidy. Katie Cassidy rose to fame as a scream queen after she starred in the horror film When a Stranger Calls. She would go on to have a role in Gossip Girl, playing Juliet Sharp. Katie gets her acting skills from her Tony Award-winning grandfather, Jack Cassidy. She's almost a spitting image of her grandpa, Jack. Jack Cassidy was known for his distinctive features, including his piercing blue eyes, chiseled facial structure, and charming smile. Katie's nose shape, while slightly smaller, bears a resemblance to Jack's distinctive nose. Although you might not actually see the resemblance in Kate's current pictures because Kate lost weight for the drug addiction storyline Laurel has in season two. She looks normal again towards the end of the second season and in season three. She is the only child of actor and singer David Cassidy and fashion model Sherry Williams. Cassidy's paternal grandparents were actors Jack Cassidy and Evelyn Ward, Billy Lord, and Debbie Reynolds. Debbie Reynolds had a long and successful career of nearly 70 years. Her first big role, which made her a household name, was in Three Little Words. Shortly after, she starred as Kathy Seldon in Singing in the Rain and in the Halloween Town series. Not long after her film successes, she released a pop album called Debbie. Reynolds was married three times. Her first marriage was to singer and actor Eddie Fisher in 1955. They became the parents of Carrie Fisher and Todd Fisher. Billy Catherine Lord was born July 17, 1992 in Los Angeles, California, the only child of actress Carrie Fisher and talent agent Brian Lord. She is an American actress known for starring as Chanel in the Fox horror comedy series, Scream Queens, and for her roles in the FX horror anthology series, American Horror Story. She also appears as Lieutenant Connix in the Star Wars sequel trilogy. Look at those eyes, noses, and mouths. It's almost like seeing a set of twins just decades apart. Billy Lord and Debbie Reynolds have such similar facial features. Speaking of her grandma, Lord said on Late Night with Seth Meyers in 2016, she gets really upset when I get called Carrie Fisher's daughter. She wants people to call me Debbie Reynolds' granddaughter. It's very offensive to her. Lord also told Town & Country about the time they spent together saying, we watch Turner Classic Movies. We all would sit together in bed. Their place was the bed. And my grandma was really into E and Access Hollywood. Steve R. McQueen and Steve McQueen. Terrence Stephen McQueen was an American actor and racing driver. Stephen became a huge movie star in the 1960s and 1970s, acting in The Sand Pebbles, The Great Escape, The Getaway, and The Magnificent Seven. He was nicknamed the King of Cool and used the alias Harvey Mushman in motor races. Sadly, McQueen died young at the age of 50 in Mexico but his legacy is alive and well, thanks to his grandson, Stephen R. McQueen. Now, if you put these two McQueens side by side, the resemblance is uncanny. The only big difference? The younger McQueen uses his full name professionally while his granddad stuck with just Steve. But from their noses to their jawlines and even their body types, it's clear they're cut from the same cloth. Stephen might have some pretty big shoes to fill, especially with a name and a look like that but he's doing his granddad proud. Stephen McQueen carved out his own path in Hollywood, most notably known for his role as Jeremy Gilbert in the CW fantasy supernatural drama, The Vampire Diaries and its spin-off legacies. Chris Pine and Anne Gwynn. Chris Pine comes from a lineage of actors. His dad, Robert Pine, is famous for his role as Sergeant Getrayer on Chips and his mom, Gwen Guilford, was an actress before switching gears to become a psychotherapist. Chris also has an older sister, Catherine, who's dipped her toes in acting too. Chris' maternal grandmother, Anne Gwynn, was one of the most famous pinup girls during World War II. 
She was also an actress known for being one of the first scream queens for her role in several horror films. Anna Gwynn passed away in 2003 when she was 84 years old. However, her legacy seems to live on through her grandson, Chris. If you look closely, you'll see that Chris Pine and his late grandmother share some striking features. They both have those full lips and hooded eyes that make their gazes so intense and captivating. Christopher Pine is best known for his roles as James T. Kirk in the Star Trek reboot film series and Steve Trevor in the DC Extended Universe films. Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman, 1984. Dree Hemingway and Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway was an American novelist, short story writer, and journalist. Known for an economical, understated style that influenced later 20th century writers, he has been romanticized for his adventurous lifestyle and outspoken, blunt public image. He went on to become one of the most influential writers in history, giving us books like The Old Man in the Sea and For Whom the Bell Tolls. When Hemingway died in 1961, he didn't just leave behind books. The author also had children, who then had children, leaving a physical Hemingway legacy of flesh and blood. Dree Hemingway and Ernest Hemingway may be of different genders, but there's no denying their unremarkable similarities. Dree is the daughter of actress Mariel Hemingway and Stephen Chrisman. Ernest Hemingway is her great-grandfather on her mother's side. She grew up in Ketchum, Idaho and attended Ernest Hemingway Elementary School. Although his great-granddaughter hasn't pursued a career as a writer, she has followed her own passions and made a prominent mark for herself. Dree Hemingway works as an actress and model. She is known for acting in independent films and shooting campaigns for major companies like Gianfranco Ferre and Salvatore Ferragamo. Dree once told Elle about her grandfather. I read a lot of biographies on him, and I can definitely feel that we're from the same family. We both like to travel. We enjoy the same things. Rose Kennedy Schlossberg and Jacqueline Kennedy. Jacqueline Kennedy, born in 1929, remains one of the most iconic first ladies of the U.S., thanks to her grace and style during her time in the White House. Though Jackie is no longer with us, her legacy lives on through her grandkids, especially through her eldest grandchild, Rose Kennedy Schlossberg. Schlossberg looks undeniably like her late grandmother. Rose Schlossberg is the eldest grandchild of John F. Kennedy and Jackie Kennedy and the firstborn daughter of Carolyn Kennedy and her husband, Edwin Schlossberg. Rose is a film and television producer known for co-producing and co-writing the Peabody award-winning documentary series, Time, the Khalif Browder Story, in 2017. In 2016, she co-created End Time Girls Club, an End Time apocalyptic web series on YouTube. Rose and Jackie had a super close bond. According to the New York Post, Kennedy biographer Christopher Anderson, Jackie was practically a second mom, doting on Rose during her early years. He said Jackie, who lived just a few blocks away from the Schlossbergs on the Upper East Side, saw Rose basically every day, said Anderson. Jackie would take Rose to playgrounds and the Met, across the street from the former First Lady's NYC apartment. Goldie Hawn and Rio Hudson. Goldie Hawn is an American actress. She rose to fame on the NBC sketch comedy program Rowan and Martin's Laugh In. The actress is the mother to three children and the grandmother to six grandkids, including her mini-me, Little Rio. Rio was born in July 2013 to Goldie's son, Oliver Hudson, and his wife, Erin Bartlett. Even Goldie Hawn's other grandchildren, such as Ronnie Rose, have been compared to her but Rio's likeness is particularly striking. Rio's facial features, including her eyes, nose, and smile, closely mirror those of a young Goldie Hawn. Rio not only shares her grandma's blonde hair, sweet smile, and adorable features, but they also apparently have the same free-spirited nature. Even Hawn called the young one a chip off the old block. The fact that they're basically the same person is likely why the pair obviously enjoy each other's company. Goldie even attended Rio's preschool graduation in 2017, 
or the duo twinned in matching flower crowns. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more exciting content.